What's up all, I'm Dennis Cook, health and performance coach. I help people achieve their athletic physique, even if they don't consider themselves athletes. Last week, we defined athletic physique, and this was according to the ACE, American Council on Exercise, body fat chart, and they have a defined category that is athlete, which means six to 13% body fat for men, and 14 to 20% body fat for women. But as I stated before, we want to maximize your muscular potential. This is what's gonna give you the look that you want, make you feel the way that you want, and help you perform the way that you want. It's also gonna be associated with the best health outcomes. So being at six to 13% body fat for men, or 14 to 20% for women, can mean drastically different things on the scale. It is windy out here in Kansas, by the way. Um, that can mean drastically different things on the scale. And if we're gaining muscle, it could mean the scale doesn't move at all. It could mean the scale actually moves up. And that's very scary for people, especially for a lot of women and some men too. So how do we know if we're on the right track? How do we know what our desired body type, our desired body weight actually is. Well, there is actually another formula for this. So if you go to the website, Di Diozyme, I think is how you say it, D-I-O-X-Y-M-E.com. I don't even know what that company is, but if you Google Maximum Muscular Potential MMP Calculator, you for the first on Google, the first thing that comes up for me is diozyme.com, and it has two calculators on there. And there is research behind these calculators, you can check them out, pretty solid stuff. And what those calculators determine is what your body weight would be at your maximum muscular potential. So you've maxed out your ability to add muscle. Now the first calculation is the simplest, it is simply um, your height in centimeters minus 100, and that would equal a body weight where you would have the maximum amount of muscle at 4% body fat, or 4 or 5% body fat. And now I have an issue with that because I'm not trying to help people get to 4 or 5% body fat. That's like a, a stage ready weight. It is a useful piece of information though. That's essentially your max lean body weight. Now, the next formula is a little bit more complicated, but not much because the calculator does the work for you. So you'll need to get a waist measure, like a tape measure that uh, you know, can measure your body parts. And you're gonna measure your ankle and your wrist. And this calculation will take into consideration a few metrics. Um, I believe height might, I believe it's height, wrist circumference, ankle circumference, all in inches, and then your desired body fat percentage. And this is the important part. So if we're a man trying to get into the athletic range, Maybe we'll first set that for 13. So let's, let's shoot for the high end. It's a scalable goal. And it's gonna tell us the body weight at which we would have our achieved, if we achieve our max potential for muscle, what our weight would be with also 13% body fat, right? So for instance, if my max sort of lean body, body weight at 4% you know, body fat is 185 pounds, well, at 10% body fat, I may actually weigh closer to 200 pounds. So really, if I'm trying to achieve my best optimal athletic physique, that would actually mean for me at almost six foot uh, tall, that maybe I actually will need to weigh 200 pounds, 205 pounds, maybe even 210 pounds. And guess what? You might be starting at 185 pounds. So this, this could radically transform how we approach diet, how we approach the scale, how we approach just thinking about our journey in general 
and it, it really does become truly a growth journey. Now, newsflash, if you're concerned that this sort of max muscular potential athletic physique is going to look like some kind of freak uh, that you see up on the stage, I got news for you, that's not at all what it's going to look like. Those guys are juiced to the gills at 4% body fat, and it's nothing near a reflection of what you would actually look like. Even if we looked to like the NFL, you know, maybe that would start to be more realistic, uh, say like a running back or something like that. Uh, maybe like an Olympic gym, gymnast, but really um, none of that is exactly. I think actually the probably the best avatar for what you could expect would be like a competitive crossfitter. And now some might argue that those guys are also on steroids, but they are loosely reflecting what your max muscular potential athletic physique would look like in about the, you know, the athletic body fat range. And now if you're a woman and you're like, well, their shoulders are too broad or their traps are too big or whatever, that's fine. You don't have to develop your physique like that. So we can still take a bodybuilding approach and consider, you know, exactly what body parts you want to emphasize and maybe maybe not ignore but de-emphasize relative to your desired outcomes. <laughs> Excuse me. But nonetheless, this is this process that I'm taking people through has objective measures. So I just want to share that with you. Like, where, where am I coming from? What do I actually mean when I say athletic physique? How, how would I measure where I'm at today? How far I am from where, you know, in my vision as coach, I would like you to go? And um, yeah, what that would mean and, and what's some examples out there. So I think, you know, you could look at some competitive CrossFitters, uh, maybe certain uh, track and field athletes, depending on their sport, sprinters, that type of thing, and get an idea of what is possible for you on your journey, what the human body can do, how it can adapt, and exactly where I believe you should go. Um, of course, your goals are always going to be your goals, and I'll support you, but if you're just, you know, handing me uh, the controls and saying, I trust you, take me, this is where we're going. So yeah, so check out that calculator, Maximum Muscular Potential. Um, at Diozyme, D-I-O-X-Y-M-E dot com. Um, it's free and it's, it takes like two seconds to, to figure that out. You just need, a, like I said, a tape measure, figure out your, your wrist and your ankle. And uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know what your uh, ideal body weight is in the athletic physique. All right, y'all. Um, in the next episode, we'll talk about exactly how much muscle one can put on how fast can you put it on and what to expect in that regard so i look forward to it and peace